This is the challenge of this year for me. 2024, I said to myself, I'm not gonna come or brush my hair every single time I wash my hair. So here is my comb. I have grounded flaxseed powder right here. My best friend, which is I actually made living in conditioner from this beautiful gel. If you want to see what I'm talking about, the link is down here. Click it and check it. You will never have ever used such a beautiful living in conditioner in your life. You will love it. So check out. I made it from this beautiful gel. And after I boil, I put 500 ml water. That is much i need for my hair that is depend how much hair you have and then i strain it just before the gel is getting taken i don't want to get taken and after that i put my aloe vera hair growth oil that is because i need the same time like hydrating moisturize as well so with that being said it makes sure you apply your, your gel while it's warm. I said warm, okay? I didn't say piping poorly, okay? Warm. That is open up your cuticle, especially if you have high porosity hair. So you open up, I mean low porosity hair, you cuticle will open up. That way he will get into the hair shift. That is really great because sometimes low porosity hair is really really hard to get into the water whatever so this is really good so as you can see this hair has been mini twist for the last two weeks that twist also haven't been combed or brushed but before i washed that i comb my hair i detangle with the comb but this time i am planning not to so at least i'm gonna try not to comb or brush my hair every one wash and then the second the second wash to comb it as you can see it's not really that bad <laughs> after i take out the twist and as i said i didn't comb or brush the girl who did my hair knew as well. She was struggling as well. She wanted to part it with the comb. I said no a million times. And then she just did my hair so nicely with the twist like that. And then I opened the twist. And this is how I'm detangling right now. Because I am trying to do this. But that way I can learn to be patient with my hair. I am really bad with my hair before but I actually been really good for the past two years since I started growing my hair I am very horrible with my hair I relax my hair I cut often I cut often I do everything to my hair but I stopped that one 2022 and then I start new journey with my hair and then listen patience as long as you have patience your beautiful afro hair will grow you don't see the length because it's of the breakage if you stay away from heat i didn't say like always but if you want to use heat use some time but use protective heat protector and then you want to stretch your hair fine stretch once at month but use protective you know heat protectant before you touch your hair i'm not saying 100 percent don't use it if that is what's make you happy but don't use it often and another thing good don't go forever without washing your hair because our hair need water 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 like it's essential to hydrate because oil on its own uh, it doesn't moisturize the hair it doesn't hydrate i mean oil it doesn't hydrate oil actually is sealing moisture in hydration in so when we hydrate our hair it could be with oil i mean it could be with living in conditioner it could be with water it could be with herbal tea then we apply oil the oil is still in the moisture the hydration that so is, this is why my hair the oil on its own do nothing so i washed my hair hair i did nothing this is what my hair look stringy it's so beautiful that is a sign of healthy oil hair when your hair is all washed and then you put it in the water as well and string back that is a sign of your healthy hair as you can see i swear to god i didn't touch with any comb anything this is how it look like 
and I'm going to do full video on wash day. At the moment, I'm not able to do that because I have kids around. I'm mother of the three, very busy. While I'm applying my living in conditioner right now, they could call me just to wash my hand, go do things and come back. And while I'm washing, they call me and then I just wash my eye shampoo and then go do things. That is how my life is. So when they go to school, I will share with you plenty of wash day. And then from the start to the from the beginning to the end, from the start to the end, I will be sharing with you. So this is how my hair look it without touching any brush or tangling comb. Just to use my hand. That way we can learn how to be patient with our hair so we don't strip it. We don't you know, we are really bad with our hair. Our hair grow, just need patience and also taking care. Finger tangling is the key for beautiful afro hair, honestly. With that being said, please don't forget to drink a lot of water and make sure you eat your veggies. Make sure you eat your green veggies green veggies so one contain items like beetroots like uh, black kale and hey get some vitamin as well i learned that hard way wow honestly i learned that hard way and then you really need to have some time like carrot juice beetroot juice it really help and don't forget to subscribe i see